what's good youtube i'm back with another video and i haven't posted a video in a while as y'all can see right there i haven't posted a video in like four months but i am back and i got the jordan 4 university blue so i did win these on the flex app the flex app and flx whatever you want to call it been acting up crazy like you can't check you can't confirm your um you can't confirm your win and so far since they updated it from the original app to the flx app i think i only won like probably like three or four since february of 2020 so yeah man it's hard to win on that and the sneakers app is even worse and now I see that they all like all the releases on sneakers app is like a draw. You have to enter the draw. So all right, so I did win these. You got the gray speckle on the bottom. Got the white top with the UNC or University Blue Jumpman and the flight. I do like that they're switching up the box and giving you different colors to match with the scheme of the shoe. Do have your Jordan 4 retro university blue black. And retail is 200 on these. I guess because of the premium material or whatever. Inside of cover is blue. You got like a speckle paper. White paper with gray speckles. You do have that white and green sticker right there. All right, so before I start the review, um, I did change my name to D Nice Seven One Eight. Um, it's D Space N Y C E Seven One Eight instead of N I C E. I put N Y C E. So that's the new name. Uh, follow me. Subscribe to that. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter. It's in the description below. So yeah, man, it's been hard getting stuff on sneakers app and the FLX app. So I haven't really been picking nothing up really. The bottom, you got the gray, university blue, black, white, and you have that blue jump man right there. You got that gray, black, and white midsole. We got a gray in the air unit right there. The material is pretty nice. It does color shift as you can see. Real soft, nice suede material all around the shoe. The back, you got that pull tab, a gray pull tab, black jumpman, black speckle. The wings, you got that gray with the black waffle holders. Um, black lace holders down here also. The blue on the suede around the shoe is different from the blue on the mesh and on the laces and on the sock liner so the sock liner the mesh and the, the laces is a a different blue it's like a a more vibrant blue than the actual suede i don't know if y'all could pick that up on camera but in person it's definitely like that so behind the tongue you got that black behind the tongue your jordan upside down in white university blue sock liner Black insole with that blue jump man. The material on this is really nice. I'm not gonna you know, give y'all a crazy long uh, review because I know there's been a ton of review of these way before their release. And the release been all over the place. So I'm just gonna give y'all like a quick little, you know, what I think about them and the material and up close 4K look of them and are on feet. So the tongue, I really don't like this tongue right here with the flap. If they are just cut this off and stitch it on the insole, it would have been way better. But I don't know. I don't know if I'm gonna cut it off or I'm just gonna leave it like that. But the jump man, I don't know. It should have been like a black or like a darker gray or something. It just looked from far away, probably just gonna look like a white patch. I got two shoes right here to show y'all what they could have done with that patch on the tongue. 
So the first release right here on the tongue, you have that emblem right there. They could have did something like that. I don't know why they stopped, but to me, in my opinion, this is way better. That's why I didn't really get the that green fives. I did get the yellow, but I got rid of them and I didn't get the green because they just, I don't know, they just start with this patch. I don't like the patch. They could have just kept this like this or work on some type of deal or something for them to keep doing this because this is way better in my opinion. And as far as the, the the flap right here on the tongue, simple solution right here. They could have just did this. Cut this off and stitch it on the insole. So we don't have to have that flapping right there on the tongue. So let me know what y'all think. If y'all think that they should have put it on the insole or just keep doing the the emblem like this on the patch. Let me know. My opinion, they should have just kept doing the emblem. And if they can't or whatever, for whatever reason, they could have just cut that off and stitch it in on the insole just like these. So let me know what y'all think about these. Like the video, subscribe if you're new and stay tuned for that on foot. Follow all social media in the description.